In this video, we are going to learn how to make your eyes reflect any color in Photoshop. So this video is divided into two pretty sections. In the first section, we are going to learn how to color eyes in the most natural way possible. The kind of colors that actually exists in real life. And in the second part of the video, we are going to break all the walls of creativity and take things to a whole new level by multi-coloring. So I'm pretty excited and I hope so are you. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and some of you might say, what the heck the red ball has to do with it? Now here's the thing, remember the first sentence of my video, I said that how to make your eyes reflect any color? Now why did I say that? Now here's the thing, objects don't have color of their own, they reflect color. In this image as you can see, white light was thrown at the ball, okay? now. White light can be divided into reds, greens and blues. You know that light can be divided into those three things. Now, the material of the ball is such that it observes greens and blues and reflects the reds. And that's how we see reds. Now, why am I telling this to you? When you look at eyes, you see some eyes are bright, some eyes are dark. The eyes which are bright reflect more light. The eyes which are dark reflect less light. So if you have a dark colored eye and you want to change to a color which is bright, say blue, you first have to increase the amount of light, which means you first have to increase the brightness and then change the color. Okay. Similarly, if you have a very bright blue eye and you want to change it to brown, so you first need to decrease the light, which means you have to darken the eye and then change the color. In pursuit of changing color, light should also be considered. So before we begin with our first example, a very big thank you and shout out to Jim Smith from James for Photography for sending over this image. He's an awesome photographer to check more of his works. Check it out right here in his Facebook page on Instagram everywhere. All right. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in this example, we might want to change the eye color to something bright, say green, say blue. So first we need to increase the brightness of the eye. So let's zoom in quite a bit and create a new adjustment layer. To create a new adjustment layer, click on this icon, circle, gray, white, click on this and go to brightness contrast. Okay. Now in the brightness contrast properties, increase the brightness. Let's zoom in quite a bit and let's just increase the brightness. There you go. Now this might be enough so to around 60. This is pretty good. Here's the thing. When you increase brightness for changing color, keep in mind that you increase the brightness only of the iris. Okay. Not of the corners of the eye, not of the pupil, only of the iris. So we might want to mask it later. So this brightness is okay. Now, since every adjustment layer comes with a free mask, we need to go ahead and paint it completely black. We need to invert the mask and then paint in the eye. So press control I. This makes the mask completely negative and then take a brush, make sure white is the foreground color. Let's zoom in quite a bit and just paint over the iris. Let's close it. Let's paint over the iris with a soft brush. Okay. And the flow you can go around hundred is fine. Okay. Paint over the iris. Don't go near the edges. Okay. Neither you have to go near the pupil. Okay. The soft brush. Let's do it. So let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Watch how I didn't touch the edges. If I had touched the edges, it would have made the eye really, really flat. We don't want that. We want a little dimension to it. All right. So this is okay. Press X to toggle between black and white again and make sure just paint near the edges to make sure that you have not accidentally painted there and paint above the eye. There you go. And this is pretty good. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. Make sure you rub it off from the pupil. There you go. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's paint it out. Now time to add color to it. So create a new adjustment layer and this one is hue saturation. Now change the hue all the way to the left for now, all the way to the left and close it. Okay. And control I. Done. Now take the brush, make sure white is the foreground color and paint over the whole of the iris. This time, don't worry about corners. Don't worry about the pupil. Don't worry about anything. Of course, you don't have to paint inside the pupil, but don't worry so much about the edges right now. Okay. And just simply paint over it. There you go. 
Now the color of the eye is changing. Now you might have to tweak it just a little bit because it's looking a little bit of unrealistic. There you go. Okay, press X and remove the edges. Now this is looking pretty fine. Let's zoom out and have a look. So this is looking really nice. We might have to go ahead and increase the brightness just a little bit. So double click on the brightness properties. So when you click on the icon, it opens up the properties. So let's increase and decrease the brightness and let's see which one looks good. What value looks good. So this value looks nice. Okay. And come back to the hue saturation. And here, change the hue values, change the color of the eye to anything you want. Suppose I want green. This is too much. This is okay. And increase or decrease the saturation according to your desire, how much green you want it to be. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's how you change colors in Photoshop. Now also, you might want to replicate it to the other eye. To do that, all you have to do, simply just paint over, come back to brightness and contrast, and paint over, do the same process. You don't have to add another adjustment layers. Take the brush and take white and paint over the areas. There you go. And take the hue saturation and again paint over the whole of the eye. There you go. That's all you need to do. Okay. So paint over really carefully. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? All right. So let's zoom out. Let's have a look. So this is how you change color of the eye. Now you might want to group both of them together and decrease the opacity maybe. Okay. To something like this. Okay. Now. This is how you change colors of the eyes in Photoshop. So let's have quickly have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. There are only two things that you need to remember. Number one, adjust the brightness. If you want to change color to something brighter, adjust the brightness accordingly. If the eye is dark, make it brighter. If the eye is bright, make it darker if you want to make it dark. And number two, add the color using the hue saturation adjustment layer and that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the next example where we do multi coloring. So here we are with the second example and this image is something that I downloaded using the Pexels Photoshop plugin. The Pexels Photoshop plugin allows you to download free stock photos from inside of Photoshop. It allows you to search free stock photos and download them directly as layers. So if you want to know more about it, go ahead and check out the video right here. All right. So let's zoom in quite a bit and this time we're going to go crazy with colors. So Let's add a new what? Brightness contrast layer. Okay. Let's add a brightness contrast layer. Let's make it a little brighter. We want to make it light too. Okay. So around maybe this value is good. 75 is great. Okay. Let's leave it at 75. Now control I. This creates a negative mask. Take the brush. Make sure white is the foreground color. See, wherever you paint white, the effect is applied. Wherever there is black, no effect applied. That's what a mask is. So let's zoom in quite a bit and paint over. Remember what I said, paint over only the middle parts. Don't paint over the pupil. Don't paint near the edges, only the middle. Okay. With a soft brush. There you go. Now this is looking good. Okay. You might want to increase the brightness just a bit. Okay. Now this is looking pretty fine. Now let's add a hue saturation layer. And what, the, what is the color do you want? Let's go for say green also. Let's go for green as the base color. Okay. This is yellow. This is green. All right. Now let's decrease the saturation just a bit. Okay. All right. Now we need to create that mask. So control I. Okay. Now take the brush, paint with white over the eye. Eyeball actually. So. Paint near the edges, no worries, it's already dark, okay? Make sure the brush is a soft one. There you go. Now you can always go ahead and click on this. See, this opens up the properties dialog box for that adjustment layer. Click on this and this shows up the properties and then adjust it. Adjust the color that you want. There you go. Suppose I want this green and you want to decrease the saturation quite a bit. There you go. Okay, now this is good. And you want to increase the brightness just a little bit? Or decrease it? Maybe decrease it. Okay. It's looking good now. Maybe increase the saturation just a little bit. Okay. Now, let's zoom out and let's have a look at the before and after. 
So let's group both of them together and control G before, after. Now this is looking nice and let's make it a little more crazier. What about adding yellow in the middle? It's gonna be fun, isn't it? So let's add another hue saturation layer and this time change the hue all the way to the left just for indication purposes, okay? Control I and paint in the middle, okay? Take a soft brush and paint in the middle. There you go. Hey, blue is also not looking bad. It's really nice. Paint out the areas that you don't want. There you go. Now this is not bad. It's looking great, isn't it? Okay, now you can always go ahead and change the color of the hue. Change it to say yellow. Where did the yellow go? So maybe this is the yellow and then increase the saturation. There you go. This is reddish, this is yellow. Once you're satisfied, close it. There you go. How about adding one more color to the edges? Let's do that. Let's add one more hue saturation adjustment layer and then all the way to the left just for indication purposes. Okay, and now let's copy this mask. We have already created a mask for the complete eyeball, right? So this one was the mask for a complete eyeball. We're just gonna hold Alt or Option, okay? Alt if you're using a Windows, Option if you're using a Mac, and drag it and drop it in the above layer. It says replace layer mask, yes. So this limits everything to the eyeball. Now we need to just keep the corners and remove the center. So what do we do? Let's go back to this one and take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black and just paint. There you go. You just wanted the corners to have the blue. It's okay. Just leave the corners to be blue. And what about it decreasing the flow just a little bit to 20, 30? Okay, so it makes erasing a lot more smoother. There you go. Maybe add a little bit blue and then remove it gradually. There you go. This is looking nice. Let's look at the before and after. So this is before, this is after. So we have added three colors to the eyes. Blue, green and yellow. Let's look at the before. This is the before, this is the after. Also, the blue in the middle was also looking great, wasn't it? So that's how you make your eyes reflect any color in Photoshop. You just have to remember two things. Number one, adjust the brightness of the light. And number two, adjust the color. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if this video helped you, make sure you give it a like. And don't forget to not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.